If you can go back to the first time we met, what advice would you give yourself regarding being in a relationship with me? It's <laughs> a great question right there. <laughs> Would you marry me? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I just got really hot. <laughs> it's the light. What do you mean? Me. Just like in general? In of course, general? Of course I would. Of course you would. We talk about it a lot. Hold on. And it's not me that starts this. Stop. No. <laughs> that would have been crazy. That's not even funny. <laughs> um, how do you describe? <laughs> how do you describe me to others? Often. <laughs> <laughs> Very often. I, it's hard because like, I end up talking about you to complete strangers. Like, every day, so. But I guess it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, I talk about how kind you are and how hardworking you are and how you love your family and how funny you are. Snap, but snap. then like, I don't think I've met anyone like you at your age as well that i don't know you you, you scream 35 to me you don't look it <laughs> I, <feel 35 laughs> <But sometimes. laughs> I don't know mature i guess and under maturity comes a lot of other things but there's there's so much i appreciate about you that i just end up telling everyone about i'm gonna work on that though because some people are like Okay. I don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Just working at Tesco. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope that did I answer the question. I think. Mm, I yeah, did. I think you did. Okay. okay, it's my turn, right? Is it? Yeah, it's my turn. Okay, I just work here. What are you hesitant to tell me? I feel like a lot of things I'm hesitant to tell you about. Like I end up telling you anyway, because like. Most of my hesitation comes from just like past experiences and relationships and less of it is like I'm hesitant to tell you I'm just but more I'm hesitant to have like a repeat of like something in the past but then like I remind myself it's just like you're not like you're you weren't part of those situations. Yeah the emotional maturity that like we both try to keep and like keep aware of and like evolve through like that's like one that's probably like in my top three of things I love most about you and about us yeah it's been a long time coming though babe I wasn't always like this <laughs> oh I know and I definitely wasn't either <laughs> I definitely wasn't either like yeah, I think in my mind, like I always think, if if it's actually love, the goal is always reconciliation. And like I've been in situations where like the person is just like mad for like days on end, and it just causes like distance and it festers. And like I never want anything negative to fester. Yeah. Because kind of want this to last a bit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, I, I want, I want it to, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that, like, what's the point if you're not going to do it? Exactly. Right, like, you deserve the best, babe. You do too. Deserve the world. <laughs> Whose turn is it? I think it's mine. I haven't read words in a minute. When do you feel closest to me? Oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I think when we just have time to ourselves and we can just talk about anything and we can talk about what's bothering us and most of the time it's my family relationships but the way you talk me through it means a lot. I don't want to cry. It's okay. I want to read my makeup. <laughs> Where your priorities are in order. Oh, that's why I put so much makeup on. I wouldn't cry. Okay. I think you've made me 
like realize that. Oh, this is annoying. That like sometimes things won't get better, but it's just you have to make sure you get better through the process. And um like when was it? The other day when I was crying. I cry a lot these days. <laughs> <laughs> when I was crying and he just like came over and hugged me. Yeah. That was like the physical um the expression of everything I feel when we're on the phone and like you talk me through it and encourage me and stuff. So that's also why I cried on top of the crying. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was I was like, damn, I broke her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that question. <laughs> don't go. Don't let go. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> okay. This carpet's turn. not big enough for the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the biggest sacrifice you have made that I haven't acknowledged? In terms of us, I guess? Question mark? Yeah. Okay. I've made a lot of like changes and like adjustments because of us, because of like timing. My sleep schedule is definitely jacked. Yeah. But that's also because of like work and whatever, which n it honestly makes the distance and the time easier. So I wouldn't really say that I've made sacrifices in regards to us. Like I said, I made changes, but to call any of them like sacrifices. I don't really think that that's like a fitting word. Like that's I don't think that's a fitting description. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, girl. That's where I think I'm gonna go. I feel like I kind of know the answer to this one. Okay. What's the hardest thing for us right now, and how can we make it easier? Do you want to answer it? And then I'll tell you if you were right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and say distance for 400. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's hard. The question of like who's going where is, is the hardest thing. But like, it, like I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be, but it'll work out. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Check it. Yeah, go ahead. If the person you're with never changed, would you be happy with what, like who they are and, and what they are? And yeah, I'll be, I'll be pretty happy to be honest. <laughs> That's a great question. Right? And the answer is definitely yes. Well, be <laughs> <laughs> And I don't even, and I don't like people. I know, we be so. <laughs> I don't like people. <laughs> Which is hilarious given every job I've ever had, but... <laughs> You're great at what you do, like, as well. I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you. I'd love to see who you are in 10 years' time. I'm sure I still love that guy. A 55-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Escalated very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's kind of how my life is going, but yeah. Stop it. <laughs> All right. Last and final. <clears throat> Always pull a face before you like say anything. All right, I'm done. If this were our last conversation, what's something you'd never want me to forget? Mm. That there's greatness in you, and you're an amazing person. And you don't just have potential. There's like what you do now is amazing. Who you are now is amazing. I love you a lot. More than I ever thought I would. More than I've loved before. And yeah, let's not make me cry again. I'll catch all the tears, but don't worry. That's it. very intense. Very. 
this was our last conversation. Yeah, you gotta answer. Oh, definitely. I know your relationship with love has been rocky. And if this were like the last time we got to speak, I wouldn't want you to, I don't want you to hold on to like what we have, how we love, so that you know that um, it's real, you know? Like, <laughs> okay, babe. Why are you doing this to my face? I'm so upset. I'm I blame so, you. You blame me. <laughs> <sighs> and that I love you, baby. I love you. No, always love. Always. Hey guys, Melanie again. Thank you so much for watching. Currently on the set of The Ant. If you want to bring these conversations at home, check it out at our shop. And if you want to watch more of our videos, check it out below. Thanks.